Wonderful! In this video, I'm going to teach you how to take what we have here in the P5 editor and put it somewhere online as a standalone website with just, um, just a canvas without all the code and all the P5 editor stuff so that it looks more like a finished product and still behaves in the way, in the synchronous way that we are so enjoying. Um, so, um, so let me show you how to do that. Okay, so, all right, so that's great. And so that is working. And then what we're going to do now is we're going to deploy this on glitch.com. The way I'm going to do that is by downloading all these files here. And I'm going to download them, sum them on my desktop. So for example, I'm going to download them here to my desktop. All right. And then where is that here? Sync, chasing, it looks something like this. So you can see that if I extract this to a folder, and I open this folder, you can see that what I have is a very simple website that has style, sketch, and the P5 libraries, and a main index file. What we're going to do now is I'm going to go to my account, and I'm going to create a new project. And this time, it's going to be a hello web page. It's going to be a static web page, because I don't really need any of the backend stuff for this one. All right? so. I'm going to create a new Hello Project. And what I would like to do is that I'm going to replace whatever is given, is given to me here. Whatever files are in the project, I'm going to replace them with, um, with this P5 sketch that I just downloaded. And it looks like Glitch is having some trouble creating um, creating a simple static website. So let's give it a minute. Glitch.com, new project, hello web page. All right, and this didn't go through for some reason. Uh, and then I'm going to change the name, a simple, uh, no, what? What, what, did, what, what did I call it before on in my sketches? I called it sync chasing ball or something like that. Yes, sync chasing ball. All right. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove this. I'm going to remove everything that was coming here that was out of the box in the and then I'm just going to upload stuff here style. I'm going to upload sketch. I'm going to upload the P5 libraries. I'm going to upload index. And then I believe at this point, uh, this should work. But now we should have this, right? And we should be able to create more of these. Okay, so another one of these, and then they both coordinate. And if I create another one of these, right now, it's one of them. Boop. And any one of you watching this video now, or anyone who accesses this link could fire several of these and also have some fun playing with a coordinated ball across all these clients. Okay. All right. So that was it. That was actually quite easy. So I just created a simple new project with a hello web page. I removed all everything that was there previously. And then I created, I uploaded the P5 and the sketch files that I downloaded from the P5 editor. And now I have a um, static website that I'm actually going to paste here also on the on the chat and um, that anyone can use. All right, so that was it. Um, I think that's going to be it for the main chunk of this playlist. In the next few videos, I would like to try similar techniques so making coordinating the motion of an object, etc. But now open it up to other devices and other frameworks. And I probably will want to try processing so regular processing not P5.js. 
and other things such as Grasshopper, perhaps Unity, etc. etc. Okay, so stay tuned for that. And thank you very much, and see you in the next videos.